Hey guys, today we're gonna to be making some fun art. And one of the things that we learn about in kindergarten about art is different types of lines. And this painting that we're gonna make has lots of different kind of lines that we're gonna practice making together. For this project, you're gonna need one piece of plain white paper. You're gonna need some crayons. You're gonna need some watercolors. And you're gonna need a water cup and a paintbrush and a paper towel. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do on our paper is we're gonna draw a line. The first line we're gonna draw at the top is just an easy straight line. And try to push your crayon down pretty hard so it shows up really good. I just drew a straight line. That's an easy line. Now I'm going to pick a different color crayon and I'm going to draw a zigzag line. A zigzag line goes up like we're drawing a letter M and down and up and down and up and down all the way over. Alright, we got two lines. Now we're going to make a different line. We're going to make a dashed line and a dashed line let me get a darker one so I make sure you can see it a dashed line has a line and it has a little break a line and a break you can do this all the way across all right next I'm gonna get a different color and I'm gonna make curved lines I'm gonna go curve curve Sort of looks like a cloud, especially since I picked blue. Curve line. All right. Next, I'm going to do a fancy line. And this line goes over, sort of like our dashed line or dotted line, but then it takes a U. And it goes over, U. Over, you over you over you over you over you over easy peasy I'm gonna get a different color and this time I'm gonna make this line so sort of reminds me of our castle do you remember when we did this type of line in our castle it goes over down over up over, down, over, up. Over, down, over, up. We used that when we drew our castles. All right, gonna get another one. This next line is my favorite. It's a twirly, whirly line, and it just goes up and curl and curl, and curl, 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 curl. It's like Edie Grace's hair when she curls it for us. That's what it reminds me of. I'm right, gonna get another one. Our next line is gonna be a dotted line. It's just dots, like when we write a sentence and on the end we put a period. These sort of look like periods. Remember, they're not big circles. They're just a dot. All right. It's looking pretty good. How's yours looking? I hope you like it. We've got two more lines we're going to do. The next one is a wave. And it's sort of going to look like the ocean. I'm getting green. I wanted to do green going to go curve up, curve down, curve up, curve down, all the way to the edge. All right, we're going to pick one more color. And this last one, I'm going to do sort of like our zigzag line, but it's sort of laying on its side. It sort of looks like a lightning bolt. Watch this. Curve. Does that sort of look like a lightning bolt to you? All right, so your page should be full of lines. Now it's the fun part. 
Now we're going to use your watercolors. So remember when we're using watercolors, whatever color we want to use, we've got to get it wet. And once it's wet, it's ready to paint. So I'm going to paint this top part on top of my green line. Now I'm going to wash out my brush because I'm going to pick a different color. I'm going to dry it off a little bit and I'm going to pick ooh, red. I want to do red. And on this one, I'm going to go from the top of that green line, the bottom of that green line, to the top of the purple line. And I'm going to fill it all in. I like painting. Do y'all like painting? Alright, so I got that. I'm going to rinse out my brush. Should I pick red again or should I pick a different color this time? What do you think? I think I want to pick a different one. So I want it to be all the colors. I'm going to pick this yellow. Alright, I'm going to get it wet. Now I'm going to paint the next face yellow. I need a little more water in my yellow. Wasn't working good, so I gotta add a little water. All right, and I'm gonna keep going on all the spaces with a different color until the end when your painting is all finished. It'll look like that. I can't wait to see your painting. When you're finished, send me a picture. I'm going to see it. Hope y'all are having a good day. Bye.